show you how to make zip up bedding. I'm sure you're familiar with Betty's. It's an awesome brand. Um, they're kind of the front runners in, in designing the zipped up bedding, but quite frankly, they're just not in my budget. So I figured I can probably make this on my own. All you'll need is a fitted sheet, a flat sheet, and a fleece blanket or some, something not too thick, um, something that you can sew with your sewing machine. And by all means, if you don't sew, don't want to sew, um, I highly recommend Betty's. They're lined with minky fabric, super soft, high quality. The zippers are covered. Um, it's just, they're just beautiful bedding. So anyways, um, you'll also need to order a zipper um, long enough to put a whole uh, piece on each side of the bed. Um, so I got mine on Amazon and I'll include that link here in case you want the same one. But um, this video, we're gonna show you how easy it is to just make one yourself. And it's not gonna be perfect and it's not gonna have the finished look, but for my six year old, I think it'll be pretty awesome. So um, I'll go ahead and show you. This is the um, fitted sheet for her twin. Got this at Target. Um, and what we're gonna do first is you wanna put your sheet on so it's fitted, it's nice and smooth. You could even um, iron it if you wanted. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start marking just this edge here. Um, this is where you're gonna put, it's not as easy as it looks. This is where you're gonna sew the zipper. So this is just blue uh, sewing chalk. It will brush off, wipe off, wash off. It's totally safe for fabric, but it marks where I need uh, the seam to be. This is not an exact science, which honestly kind of bugs me. Um, but the nice thing is, is there isn't a pattern. So you can, you could put the zipper on the side if you wanted. Um, I think for convenience of getting in and out of the bed, we're gonna just stick to this top corner for my daughter's bedding. And then after you go ahead and do finish this side, um, you're just gonna do the same thing along this top corner. So. Um, let's get started on the rest of the bedding. Okay, so first you're going to measure your mattress. Mine was 74 inches long by 38 inches wide. So that tells me I need to add a half inch, so 74.5 for the length. That gives me a bit of a seam allowance. And then 38 and a half width for um, that seam allowance. It, you know, when you sew, you're not sewing right on the edge. You're cutting cutting in just a little bit. So go ahead and mark it, pin it, um, and you're set. You're ready to cut. Um, so when I cut, I'm cutting on the outside of the pin because that just gives me just a, an extra little hair for when I um, pin it and sew it. Then I'm going to set my sheet smoothly on my fleece blanket and pin it up just so I can cut out the fleece. Now, big um, learning lesson here, don't pick fleece with stretch. It, it actually really made things a little more difficult. This micro fleece was so soft though, um, I didn't even think about the stretch. So minky fabric, uh, straight fleece, I would recommend that much more than a micro fleece with stretch and give. So I went ahead and I sewed all the way around it and then I turned it right side in and now I'm just doing a top stitch just to give it a clean look. With the top stitch done I can line up my zipper and as you see I took the right side facing zipper and then I flipped it with the zipper facing inside the blanket and I'm just lining it up with the sheet line and then I'm um, just stitching it all the way down and if you have extra zipper just leave it. 
Okay, so as soon as you have marked both sides with the blue chalk, you're gonna take your zipper. And I went ahead and measured um, this piece of zipper to the length of my bed, which is 74 inches, but you're gonna wanna measure your mattress and make sure you get that exact measurement. So um, the easiest way is to undo the zipper. This zipper was really easy to pull together. So go ahead and um, separate it by putting the zipper pull. And one of the tips I would say is to kind of pull each half away from each other as you're maybe have someone help you pull a zipper down. So anyways, so I'll show you a close-up look on this so that you make sure to get this right. Um, if that's the front side of your zipper, you're gonna wanna face it down and out. And that's because when we put the top on, it's gonna zip like this. And so you're gonna see that finished edge. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna, um, I'm gonna follow the blue line and I'm gonna pin it. Right, this is a little difficult with it. Maybe I should take it off the mattress, guys. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so when your fitted sheet is off, I'm just gonna go ahead and line up the inside edge with the blue line. It's not going to be perfect, um, but you are, this is what you're pinning on to sew. So. so once your zipper is all pinned on to the fitted sheet, go ahead and zip it all the way down. And I stopped sewing when I got to the end of my blue line and I just left the remaining zipper and um, what you'll do at the end is you'll cut it off and you'll sew zipper stops on all four ends or sometimes you can just sew it to go underneath the bottom but that's it zips up nice um, we're all set and uh, this bedding is super cute. It's easy for my six-year-old to zip it up and make her own bed, and it's really soft. So please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.